Hello and welcome to the Art Department Podcast. Me again, Jan Oschel here and Emmanuel Shu. We had episode 30 and today we're going to talk about something I think that everybody has seen online. Uh, somebody uploads a picture, a nice painting and says, I did this in five minutes. Look how cool I am. And everybody's in awe and you get like 10,000 likes and everybody's like, oh, you're awesome. How, how did you get so fast? Um, I think we've all seen that. Maybe we have even done some of those paintings and couldn't resist writing down how quickly we did those. Um, but I think it's, it's a topic worth talking about. Actually, particularly you think it's a very, very uh, interesting topic. And I think we, we, we want to um, just have a little chat about it. I mean, uh, I think both of our opinion is, is similar as in that uh, we're not big fans of, of, of speed painting, so to speak, or how, however you want to however you want to say it. But um, I don't know. What do you what do you think about it? Well, I mean, <laughs> um, this one's been on the books for a while and, and I've wanted to talk about this for a while and you know, when it comes to speed, anything, when it, when it's always, um, prefaced by the word speed, uh, that's when I usually have, uh, some kind of, uh, issue with it because, um, you know, like it, this could be speed sculpting, speed, like speed painting, speed, like I design speed designs, things like that. Because a lot of time, you know, it's the, I did it really quick. Mm it's a, you know it's a it's a throwaway but i did it really quick so look at how good this is kind of mentality that yeah. um i find interesting as and and this coming from you know a person who teaches i mean you teach as mm -hmm. well and and i feel like um there's a a lot of things done for speed's sake you know mm -hmm. and and part of it is also done for popularity of course uh, because that seems to be the popular thing, right? I mean, at, at, you remember at one point everybody was doing speed paintings, oh yeah, yeah, like crazy. I think I think uh, spit painting or whatever, or right? right? There was like a, like a Facebook group, and wasn't it like uh, I think wasn't it John Park or or somebody who who kind of not not started uh, it, but he I think just out of time constraints, he he all he, all he had all he had time for was like an hour in the evening, so he. He or maybe a, like a group of people. I don't want to pin it on him. <laughs> yeah, um, a group of people. They they just uh, like started doing it, and then of course because they have a long, um, long many years of experience. I mean, the, the stuff looks f amazing, but then suddenly everybody, even even students, yeah, wanted he, to do that. I I absolutely I agree with that, and and yes, I think John was definitely a part of it uh i i know a lot of people who were doing that and and it's the experience part that's the key because i think when you're experienced it's it's you know you're condensing all that experience into something uh quick because it's appropriate for what you were doing right uh or what you felt like it needed i i think i have the biggest problems with people who are sort of coming up um and they're uh, you know, just starting, you know, in this career or maybe they're at school and they want to, you know, they think it's the, it just got to go fast, you know, because all the pros are doing fast that I'm going to go fast. But a lot of times I feel like, um, they're just doing fast for fast sake. And the funny thing is, and, and I'll just say this story. Um, I, I used to, I used to race cars. Mm. So it was a long time ago. And um, the, the thing you have to do is when you go to a, a track, uh, there are, you know, usually, you know, between 10 and 12 corners or something like that. And so you have to learn the, the racing line in every corner. Right. So I, I remember at the beginning, I'd be like, ah, try to go fast. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the, the, the coach was like, you can't learn it like that. You're going to crash. Mm -hmm. Like there's just no way. So what you have to do, uh, is go really slow. So. I was following his car and he was going so slow. I was like, come on, this is stupid. But when you go slow and you do the right things and you do it for like lap after lap, at the end of the day, I was going faster than I ever thought I could go. And it's one of those things where you have to go slow to go fast. But I see so many people going, hey, look at this painting, 35 minutes. Mm. And I'm like, but sometimes i i'm really concerned because do you really actually think about what you're putting out there 
You don't really have time to think. Or is yeah. it just right? Or is it just a piece of art that you're you're you know you need a break and and you want to do something and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but I think personally, I want to do stuff with intent. Mm. So my stuff tends to be slower. Uh, I mean, I've done the occasional paintings that are looser. That, let's not use speed as the the, the mm -hmm. word, right? Because I, I even John Park. I mean, he he's never gonna say, "Oh, this took me 15 minutes." He's just expressing how he expresses, and it, it'll take him however long it does. Mm -hmm. um, and he doesn't care, you know, if it's speed or not. You know, he what he cares is how it looks. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, for me. Uh, I, 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 you know, it's like, like that dragon thing I put out recently. Mm, right. Um, I mean, I, I, it's not a speed, whatever no. you call it. I mean, it, it's, I really sat there and go, well, what's my story? I drew, I, I kind of did every piece in there. I mean, sometimes it's just an exercise for me to have fun. Yeah. Uh, and I really wanted to think it through and, you know, what are the poses and, you know, all this stuff. But when you're in 30 minute crunch, I don't know. I mean, like a lunchtime paint. You know, a lot of people like to do lunchtime paints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 it's good practice for mm. sure. But it also does it mean that you have to post it, uh, especially you know with a tagline like "Hey, thirty minutes," you know, yeah. kind of thing. What do you think? I mean, there, there's so much in there that I think we need to talk about. I mean, on the one hand, yeah. on the one hand, there's the 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 the, the superficial issue of like um, doing it for popularity's sake. And and um, and be, because we see a lot of um, artists, high profile artists produce work really fast and it looks really amazing. Um, and then they get a lot, a lot of likes for it and everything. Um, and of course, like uh, there's the there's the I don't know, the imaginary need for you to be relevant online, to post it all the time. And the only way to really be able to post something like, I don't know, on a daily basis is to either have a big archive of, of older work, which maybe somebody who starts out in the industry doesn't have, or you actually have to pump out a different painting every day. And if you, if you also work um, a full-time job, then you just don't have very much time to do that. So in, in the end, yeah, you have an hour maybe at lunchtime to do something and then you upload it just because... Um, you feel like you need to, but then once you once you look beside uh, all that uh, online popularity stuff, like I'm I'm wondering like, or I'm thinking about what's really behind it, right? So I mean, it, it doesn't. It, it, I think there's different purposes behind paintings that take an hour and different purposes behind painting that takes a month. Neither of which is necessarily better than the other. We cannot say that. A painting that took a month is better than than one that took one hour right um and also um i think people kind of uh, mix things up where they think that like you said right in order to paint fast which is a is is sometimes a necessary skill to have for a professional in order to paint fast it doesn't mean you should practice painting fast um to 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 um, go get back to that analogy is that you in order to paint fast you have to first paint very slowly and and get a good grip on on your process and streamline that process and learn about abstraction and over the years doing a thousand paintings slow you will realize how to draw a, a tree the most efficient way with at least with the least brush strokes possible. But you cannot learn how to paint a tree fast by painting a tree fast a thousand times. And you're still going to learn something with that, but I doubt it's of any significance. And I mean... Well, I mean, mm. I don't know about that. I mean, let, let's just talk about that real quick. Mm. Like, you know, if you don't... Paint, and this is one thing I noticed. If you don't paint with intent, even if it's a, a quick thing... Mm. Like, like uh, this is a good example. Like a lot of people do master studies mm. and they do it quickly and then they post it. But the thing is, have you really learned mm, mm. what you needed to learn? Anything, one thing. Mm. And I see a lot of students where they just paint it. And then I say, okay, well, what did you learn? They go, well, what? <laughs> and, and it's the analyzing that's going to get you value from that master study. Mm. 
it's you know and and i totally agree with you because this social media forces you or or any sort of beginner uh, uh and and it, to to just do a lot of paintings and post because it, it, you need to have a constant posting schedule otherwise the algorithm doesn't like mm. you you know you don't you know you don't get you know yourself into the popularity but i would and and there is definitely a place um for quick I idea generation quick paintings or just paintings in general you shouldn't have to defend anything there's nothing wrong mm. with doing something quickly i'm just concerned most of all for people who are beginning mm. you know it's just for them they they don't know what they don't know you know and at some point when you know it's so easy you know for the pros to kind of go yeah you know like uh uh you know i i i've you know i've 20 years of experience i know how to form that shape with one brush stroke mm. uh before a lot of people who are beginning they don't have a clue mm, mm, mm. and they'll just they'll they'll copy that brush stroke without even knowing yeah. what they're doing and i'm think it's dangerous oh yeah uh, definitely very dangerous right i mean they, they think that i mean what we all are after what what kind of um brings up your imagination is is the brush strokes the looseness right that kind of like uh energy um that we think comes so easy but which is actually hard earned but i mean you can't you can't yeah. uh, do that by just painting loosely it doesn't it doesn't work like that right it's not the it's not the um, the way to go and i mean um i wanted to just give another analogy which is similar to your car uh, analogy which is about running and I, I i run a lot and um i always kind of wondered like okay how how can these guys run so fast right and um mm -hmm. and how can you run a sub a sub two hour marathon like that's that's completely impossible but so in the, like years ago i always tried to run short distances really fast and thought okay then i'll 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 just do longer distance like I don't know I do 5k really fast and then next time I do like I don't know 5.5 and then 6 and 6.5 or whatever but when when it really doesn't work like that it's going to be or it's going to be a lot harder to for you to push past that initial goal you set yourself the 5k in in maintaining that speed it's going to be very difficult the, the more considered approach would then be to to get up to the distance that you ultimately want to run your ultimate goal and and try to first master that distance and then improve over time on the on the on the time with that and i mean every 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 coach will tell you the same every running coach and i think the same is very much true for for, for i think painting um in order to do a painting in one hour really well you need to first be able to do the same painting like in in five days really well and um, and you mm. know there's going to be a lot of you're going to give it a lot of tries right of course, I mean, of course a lot of times when i go in the track or when you <coughs> go running there's going to be a lot of times when you fail of and y i'm just so concerned that people are so needing to post mm. that they even post you know sort of their failure uh, you know just because they feel like they have to post mm. i mean it's fine to, to post whatever you want to mm. but just be careful that you're not posting because you feel like wow yeah. I'm tied into the social media. I have to do yeah. it. I mean, you like know, you, it, yeah. it, it actually it's not good for your you. daily, your daily, um, your daily, uh, like fitness level and your daily just uh, performance will vary a lot. Sometimes you might be able to do something impossible in like 15 minutes. And then the next day it takes you two hours to, to produce something that's only one tenth as good as what you did yesterday. And you, you have to come to terms with that and yeah of course the 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 imaginary thing that the social media kind of um screws with 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 that um performance differential right and another thing i mean we not only i think a couple of years ago it was all about speed painting and and being able to to do cool brush strokes really quickly but i mean more often these days i actually see like um i mean i think i think people like like people really um showed us the 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 merits of something like dailies um and i mean he works in a different in a slightly different area of of our industry but i mean i see a lot of people now doing really like quick like one hour kit bashes or um yeah they they do daily for daily sake and then they 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 do like a counter right like i don't know 350 of 1000 
and then they 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 advance that counter every day and i mean th i think it's it's still a great tool to learn something if you have a goal i mean even though i see a lot of people just doing random things every day something different and just again for the sake of it rather than having an overarching goal of really getting better at anything um so that's i guess yeah a, because a, i mean you know, ultimately you have to ask yourself well why first of all why are you doing mm. that i mean because if you're doing it because you love painting then that's great i mean whether it takes an hour or whether it takes a month mm. does makes no difference mm. like if you love painting and you love the energy of brushstrokes you do you no problem i and like i said i'm always going to say you know are you going to get everything you need and and I, what i mean by that is if you're going if you're using that as a vehicle to get uh, a, a job or a career or to learn to be a better designer because in concept design or in entertainment design it's all about design it's never about painting not really mm -hmm. most of the time unless you're purely doing like a, a, a like a keyframe with no 3d is it about you know painting and even then it's not really about speed painting um but there's so much design composition design lighting design the actual design of objects and props and environments. There's so uh, design permeates pretty much everything that I do. Mm. Uh, and, and a lot of people that I see want to get into the field. They just, they, sometimes they don't see that. And the people who, even who I'm coaching or mentoring, they'll come in going, Hey, I can speed paint this, but I'm like, well, think about this. You can't speed paint, speed sculpt and speed design. There's no such thing. Just sit down, forget the speed, and just look at what you're designing. And if it took you five minutes, fine. If it took you five days, that's fine too. But don't make it have to be, you know, like I have to come up with something at lunch or I have to kit bash this thing. Because when you do that inadvertently, you, you're, you're limiting yourself from really learning how to design fully. Mm. You know, and I, I think that's something that I just want to bring to light because I think a lot of people think it's very sexy and romantic to be able to speed paint something. Mm, mm, mm. It's actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. No, I, I had a, I had a good discussion with uh, some recent graduates. Um, and it, it, it graduates of where graduates of a design school. And, um, it's, it, th oh, they okay. were not, they were not, I mean, for ent entertainment design, they were not oh, okay. necessarily, it was not necessarily a conversation we had about speed, but indirectly, I think it was related about, um, the underlying issue also of of the speed painting being like oh so uh, like when the client asked me how many paintings i can get done in a day like i better i better name like a two digit number or whatever right so that you can like prove yourself <laughs> like i can do 20 <laughs> paintings in a day i can do it or like even the client looking on on your social media feed and seeing like oh you did this in an hour okay then for an eight hour day you can do eight paintings for for two hundred dollars, right? Um, so that's a whole different issue. Um, but so <laughs> that's a really cheap rate. Yeah, right? I'm just saying, right? I mean, so but the 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 um, the discussion we had was about yeah, just I industry skills and 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 it's like asking questions like, okay, do do I have to like do I have to do line drawing? Do I have to use 3D? Do I have to use this? Do I have to plot my perspective? And I mean, um, it's kind of like what schools uh, teach and what schools should teach, right? Because these are very important skills to have. But I think students mistake kind of the reason why you learn this, right? I mean, you, you, you're not taught to plot perspective so that for every job that you're getting you can plot proper perspective that would take way too long this is a skill that is supposed to train your eye train your brain to see the perspective in anything and that you can quickly fix whatever perspective mistakes are in a painting or that you can you can basically um, sketch in for shortening without having to think about it in the same way it's about line drawing, right? I mean, um, line drawing or just even talking about just sketching with pen and paper, that it's not about the, the skill per se, because I mean, who's gonna, the, seriously, who, except for some um, exceptions, matrix or whatever, right? Nobody's gonna <clears throat> ask you to produce a line drawing 
when in the end you have to have a um, a picture perfect like cinematic photographic frame by the end of the day if you would do a line drawing for the first half of the day you would probably uh, not finish anything um but the the for me the <clears throat> excuse me for me the skill of like um being able to do a line drawing has more to do with design because it's the most direct connection right between your hand and your brain and that you can actually um, design something very quickly because if you have to think about rendering and value and color and material while you paint it's really difficult to also take care of the design at the same time so yeah being i mean able it's, to it's the typical yeah. sorry uh, but it's it's the it's like the typical um you know well, I, I don't know how many people are into driving, but you know, a front wheel a front wheel car has to, you know, the, the front has to power, it has to turn, it has to brake. At some point, something's gonna give. And when you're focusing on too many things, mm, exactly, uh, you know, design, <coughs> painting, brush strokes, composition, all this kind of stuff, you're asking a lot. Yeah. And and like the the thing you were talking about, like. I, I, at the beginning, I have run into times when somebody asked me how long this takes, mm. <laughs> and and I said, well, you know, that's a sketch, and it takes two hours, and then, and I was expected to, you know, you know, do x amount of sketches, you know, yeah, per yeah, the time yeah. I was there, and that gets super stressful, of and um, I, I would just say that, uh, um, and you know, the more I've worked, the more I've found this out is, uh just make sure that what you're doing is what you like to do. Uh, first of all, you know, like if it's, you love painting with that energy, then, then great. Just keep doing that. But it's not about how fast, right? Because sometimes it may take an hour. Sometimes it might take a day. Be okay with that. Uh, Cause I know a lot of people who are stressing themselves out. Like, Oh my God, you know, like look at my painting. It doesn't look very good. And I said, well, how long did you spend on it? Oh, uh, you know, an hour. And I'm like, well, because you're not at the skill level that can, just pump that out an hour. John Park is because he's painted that mm. subject matter and he knows how to paint that. He could probably paint it in half an hour, but that's from hundreds of paintings right. that, you know, more than that. So, you know, but then there's also, you know, back in the Renaissance when people were spending months, if not years on a painting. Mm. So, you know, you can't, there's no right or wrong. It's just that, you know, the purpose of why you're doing mm -hmm. it. Um, if you're doing it, you know, for, for popularity, then, you know, okay, maybe it's not the right reason. Uh, if you're doing it for learning, then make sure you're learning something from it. And if you're doing it because you're expressing yourself and you love it, all the power to mm -hmm. you. Um, but I just see a lot of people who really are frust They get frustrated because oh, look at mine doesn't look so good. I'm like, because you should spend more time yeah, on exactly. it. But they'll say, look at that guy. He spent only an hour. We're supposed to finish this at lunch. And, and I'm like, who said that? <laughs> Like, nobody said that. And like, nobody sees my sketches. Like, my sketches don't look very good, but they're where I ideate. Mm. And that's how I learned in, in school it's to ideate in a sketch pad what it is. But I don't have to show that. I mean, like, I, I you know, I don't have to show in progress or I don't have to show my early sketches, you know, just to, you know, I don't, nobody, you don't need to do anything. You just need to do what's true to you, I think. Did you, I mean, do you ever get asked to produce, like, like, does the client ever say, like, hey, for today and tomorrow, can you do, like, a couple of, like, speed paintings or stuff like that? Do you ever get asked Yeah, that? and, and yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and I, I, I'll just say that. I mean, of course, this comes from a level of, uh, you know, years. But at the beginning, I would try to just give the client what they want, right? Oh, you want speed paintings? I'll, I'll give you, okay, speed paintings. And they never turned out very good because I was like, I wasn't really much of a speed painter. I'm just the kind of person that needs to think about what I need to do. Mm. And then I go. Uh, and But now I'm much more comfortable saying, uh, I don't really do that. Mm. Like, I'll give you something by, say, you know, if they give me an assignment, I'll say, uh, give me two days mm. and I'll come back with, uh, you know, with what I think is the best right. um, solution for your problem. Um, because ultimately you have to ask yourself, you know, why, why, you know, why are you doing this? Right. I mean, ultimately, if you want to solve a problem, then have you solved the problem? Right. right. If you're doing a speed painting, uh, and it only took 10 minutes and you solved the problem. Perfect. Mm. Awesome. Right. But if you haven't, then solving the problem should be your first 
you know, first and foremost, at least in what I do professionally, right? right? Uh, what you do on your own time as an artist, anything goes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, but I mean, I, I have, I don't know about you. No, has I mean, honestly, I, I can't think of a time in the last couple of years where I was like, like I, they were specifically asking for speed paintings. Maybe, maybe it, it, it's, it's so happened that, that once in a while, a speed painting was the best solution for a particular problem that day. Um, but then I, I think like yours, like uh, mine are not very, artistically uh, valuable um because i mean i i look at some of the stuff online and some people can like i don't know the speed painting thing it really it it, it comes down to to the sketchiness the brushwork and everything and, and none of which i i really am good at so they they lend themselves to that and my sketches look like a wild bashing of 3d photos and some paint and some some lines or whatever just to get the idea across and and the, and the layout and and the lighting and, and whatever else it needs to communicate beyond that i'm i'm not taking that stuff any further because i know that nine tenths of it would be thrown out um but uh, I, I, I never had any client come back to me and say like, oh, I, I really don't like the quality of your brushwork. Like, I think you should you should do some master studies or whatever. I mean, <laughs> I think I think what a lot of people like, which kind of brings me to a slightly different topic, like is again, there's the, there's the thing you can do whatever you want. Right. With with your art and your personal stuff that nobody um should or can judge you on on whatever you like to do in your free time but there is a certain there's this there's this thing online right that everybody looks at what other people are doing and and they 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 take things out of context and they they um make up their own mind and make up their own stories of why a particular artist did that so if they see like okay John does. I don't know why we bring up John all the time. I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> well, because he's the most yeah, he's yeah. the most uh, uh, a popular <laughs> sort of sort of yeah. speed. So I don't know. He he puts <laughs> something up, right? And it's like it's it's purely for his relaxation and purely for his uh, creative exploit or whatever, right? Or maybe it was like a demo in his school, um, but the class is only for one hour, so this is what he could do. I don't know. There's so many reasons why he could have done that. Um, and and people take that out of context and, and kind of thinking like okay this is how he works all the time even even for a client um and i think that's the that's the dangerous thing and and i i want to stop short of saying like there's some sort of responsibility of of uh, like being upfront about what this painting is because i mean once you share the image without the comment of like oh this is just for my own stuff right then it becomes like something that people associate with you uh, and it's taken out of context and, and then it, it just takes on a life of its own. Um, but it's, it, I think it's, it's, it's very, it's very dangerous. Um, if, if yeah, students come in and think this is how things work um, in a, in a, yeah, working I mean, if this is what's expected, uh, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I, th I feel like, um, you know, John's just a, a, a good painter yeah. and and he applies that to his designs and he could go really fast. Mm. But it took time, mm, of course, to learn that. And 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 I that I, I love his stuff. Right. Because it has a very, you know, good feel you know, to it. And I know that he can design and paint because he's trained himself to be able to do that. The thing is, like you said, it's sometimes it's it's um, for somebody who doesn't know him or doesn't know his process might think, well, I just need to do a lot of speed paintings. But what they don't realize is that, you know, you could do a million speed paintings and you won't get that kind of experience because you haven't really looked and done things in the right order. Mm -hmm. And that was where I was concerned. And a lot of people were springing up doing that. I mean, I even saw like people who were doing speed sculpt contests hmm. and I'm like. I mean, there were speed painting That's contests, but I was thinking to myself, I mean, what can you really do in an hour? How, how can that be a judge of how good of a sculptor you yeah. are? You know? I mean, I've, I've seen those <laughs> things at <laughs> events and they make sense, right? Because it's fun if you have like physically two people like uh, on computers next to each other and they do like a, 
uh, a speed sculpt or whatever and in, in 15 minutes and uh, when the audience votes and one loses you have to take a shot I don't, I don't know like right there's <laughs> I mean I, I know it, it, it a, makes sense a, but then if you if you if you make a whole big uh, online thing around it and then it's like oh this is the best guy and then yeah it, it I think I mean I, I honestly don't know how to tackle the subject because on the one hand like you said we cannot we cannot uh, forbid people what to draw but on the other hand it's just so <laughs> easily taken out of context that people um just take take this as like okay this is how pros do it pros work one hour a day and then they're done and then uh, they can hand in their work and then it's finished right it, because that's really not how it works but i mean like yeah and 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 one one thing that's really sorry to yeah, cut you yeah, off there but one thing that's really important is that Yes, that one painting was for relaxation and was really great. But think about this. If you had a job, you work 10 hours a day and you had to pump painting after painting, they're not all going to be good. Of course. And they're not all, it's not a reliable way to be if you're painting as an, and as an artist. So if you're painting and designing as a designer, then you need to have a very um, structured process so that it can, you can always be reliable when you design something. Mm. Right. And that can't just be like, well, I'm going to paint and hope something comes out. It <laughs> yeah. has to be, what's your idea? Mm. What's the problem to solve? How are you going to solve it? I mean, I spend more time gathering reference than these guys do painting. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So, you know, I mean, I'm, more, you know, but, but is anybody really holding a stopwatch? Because <laughs> yeah. for me, I've learned that by now, it's not the time I spend on it. It's the it's the intent and it's the the solving of the problem. If I solve the problem, at least let's say ninety percent of it in two days, is better than taking, you know, twenty stabs at something right. and taking a week. Uh, but you know, because that has no intent. You know, you're just drawing mm -hmm. stuff. You know, hoping something will hit. And I'm really thinking about well, why and how to solve this problem. So I'm talking from a design standpoint more than. Uh, this is, has nothing to do with art because art is anything you want. Mm. You can spend five minutes or five months or five years. Uh, no one can say a damn thing because it's your art. But I'm just talking purely at this industry and how some people think, well, this is what is expected. I need to paint fast. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think just make sure that design, you learn design and problem solving mm. first and foremost. I mean, I don't know. Do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still so much to um, think about. I mean, overall, it's 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 just uh, not something I want. I want anybody to like. It, it's it's a weird thing. I don't want to encourage anybody to to do that. But then, I th I think it's just so appealing um, to do it because to to kind of demonstrate within a very short amount of time like your your incredible skill set i think is just something that people naturally want to show off and i'm i'm not saying that that the people who who do it and who do it well that they want to show off that's that's not behind it i think at all um or maybe maybe some i don't know <laughs> i'm sure someone to flex uh, the z to to show how quickly they can do it but um I think it's just it's just a mixture of like a, a desirable skill um or like even for some people the ultimate skill and it feels like I think there's also an element of like there's a weird element of achievability because it looks so easy right it looks so easy to draw a character really fast it looks so easy to throw some paint at a canvas digital or not and then sculpt something out of that uh, immediately and and it, it feels like, oh, like if I practice a little bit, then I can also do that in an hour, right? Whereas when you when you uh, tell people how long the 16th chapel took or like a, a, a painting by Da Vinci, right? Then, like you said before, it took five months or five years or, or, or longer. And they go like, well, I'm never going to achieve that in my lifetime anyway. So I, I don't even have to try being a painter that can paint slowly. But hey, if I can spend an hour like uh, a day on, on painting something, then maybe in half a year I'm going to be able to paint something nice really well, um, which is the, of course, the complete illusion um, of, of the whole I thing. Mean, I, I, I personally think that if you want to 
I think painting is extremely important skill. Oh yeah, like yeah, for that, sure. Just, just, just say that mm. straight up, so no one misunderstand. I just don't think you need to preface it by speed. Mm, mm, mm. That's all. Like you paint, that's it. And this one took an hour. That that one took five days. Doesn't matter. Mm, mm, doesn't matter. No, it it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Yeah. Doesn't matter at all. What matters is that you a either had fun painting mm. it and you enjoyed it, or you you uh you're practicing and you've learned something from mm. it so I, I think that's all that matters and i i would encourage everybody to paint because that's that's important in what we mm -hmm. do i mean at least some form of yeah, yeah, yeah. painting i mean you know even for for like I, what i do is is a lot more premeditated mm -hmm. and referenced yeah, and right. thought of and designed but you know there's times when i'm I like i want to blow off some steam and paint some things and i'm like well, i'm not so good at it maybe i'll paint a little bit more just to get better uh, because I'm not a, a, a painter that's uh, well, I'm not just I'm just not a hardcore painter. Mm -hmm. uh, I put I mean, I make images, I mean, mm -hmm. more like a visual artist. So uh, sometimes I do that just for practice mm -hmm. and, and having some fun. Um, but I, I think don't make that your intent. Like I, that, that's all I'm going to do because I think that's what's needed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, the, the speed thing itself, like being a being. Yeah, the speed thing. Being itself. the end result. The yeah. skills you need for uh, sure, uh, uh. you know, but. Just don't make it like, don't stress yourself out thinking I got to get faster. Mm -mm -mm. That's actually the wrong thing to think about. Think I want to get better. Mm -mm -mm. Not I want to get faster, but I want to get yeah. better. I mean, the, the same way though, right? You could also go on the opposite. I mean, we kind of, I, I think what I want to avoid here is to, is, is kind of to make a statement that um, like speed painting in general is bad or that something you spend a lot more time on is automatically a better image right because there, i think they like people tend somehow to treasure what they spend more energy and time on that they, they tend to treasure that more rather than something that is like um just th that just kind of happened in 10 minutes but um i think on the opposite it also is true that i mean something you can create in a few minutes or an hour can be a very valuable piece right if if either valuable to the, to yourself like you said uh, because you enjoy painting it or it can be valuable to the client because um, he needed something for an urgent meeting and and uh, he can now slot it into his deck and it could get him like a i don't know win him the project or whatever right there's there's uh, reasons for everything but to to automatically say one or the other is is automatically better because of of xyz right um it's it's not true right whatever you spend five weeks on could be complete garbage right um and what oh, yeah. whatever you can produce in in 15 <laughs> minutes could be like loose and nice and dreamy and uh, give you 10,000 likes and lead to a different job on uh, through Instagram or whatever, right? They, they can can totally be. So, I mean, we, we've, we've stated a lot of different points here now. And, and um, I mean, there's still value in being able to, to do that. But so, I mean, if, if people want to learn how to, to draw better, like uh, and and maybe by extension also learn how to um, get their ideas out faster like so what what's your what's your ultimate game plan what do you would you recommend people to to focus on with with their study well i mean so like i said mm. you know uh, you're aiming to get better right not right faster. exactly uh but it's exactly like that car racing you go slow you learn the right things like learn how to find the form mm like surfaces and planes right. you do that you do that enough you know it what what took you uh, a long time if you when you started learning to drive you got in there you were looking at the mirror mm -hmm. you were changing the seat you you're just like scared you know but by the time you know a month later you're just jumping in the car and let's go mm. of course it's going to be a lot faster mm. because you're totally comfortable but you went really slow at first and just go as slow as you're comfortable until it get it, it will get fast on its own right. you don't even need to think about it but it's it's when you stress about going fast because you think you need to do that to to compete with all your classmates or 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 your your you know colleagues that's when the trouble starts because you're like oh my god okay i got it you know look at that and he did three paintings i better do that mm. Just slow down because maybe you're one of those people who need more time to think about things. And then maybe that guy over there, 
he he just does it quicker. It's just how he is. Or maybe he's practiced longer so he can go quicker. Whatever it is, just make sure you're learning mm. and you're trying you're aiming to get better, not faster. Mm. If the speed will come. It yeah, will come. Exactly. I mean it's we, we can we can bring that back to the analogy like you just did, right? So I mean instead of thinking about oh I'm today I'm gonna like today I'm gonna like paint for one hour or today I'm gonna drive one lap or 20 laps or whatever around the racetrack or I'm going to run 10 kilometers then um, or like I, I run for one hour right the 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 right way uh, sorry I, I should say like either you paint for an hour you drive for an hour or you 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 run for an hour right instead it should be the focus on like okay you should finish or you should you should work on that painting you should or finish that painting you should do 20 laps or you should run 10 kilometers right that should be the goal and then it will take however long it takes um or you you're going to get to a point if you can't run 10 kilometers yet you run as far as you can um with with the strength you have even if you have to walk a, a stretch of it but then you just have to like adopt like a long-term view of it um and keep on practicing the the distances or the up to the finishing point that after a couple of years like the the painting is not going to take you two days anymore but it's going to take you 30 minutes um and you you're going to be at a similar result right but what happens at the same time as well is that that your your skills will get better right if you really uh focused on learning on, on bettering yourself then your skills will also better and then maybe after two years you still want to push for a two-day painting but that two-day painting is going to be so much better than the one you did two years ago in two days so i don't know that's kind of yeah i mean uh, I I improvement comes you know uh, through doing the thing obviously but and i you know it's funny because i i i there's a lot of value to be learned um from doing a lot of you know sort of paintings to study the form and 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 things like that but i feel like not everything has to be posted online. Oh, yeah, that too. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, just remember when you're feeling pressure to post online because you need to post, uh, you know, your client, first of all, or whoever is going to hire you is looking at it going, do I want to hire this person? Is this a good painting? Is this person a good painter or a designer? Um, so if you post something that, you, you know, because you, you just had to post uh, and and it doesn't look very good, then that's going to count against you. Um, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to post everything. Yeah, that's very And important. for me, um, I also think, you know, some things that you do for fun in your half an hour, an hour, two hours, um, really sit there and say, well, you know, I did that for myself. Do I really need to post this? Right. Um, and, and I feel like uh, for me, uh, at least for me, some things that you put more thought into usually – will be the better design mm. um but that doesn't mean um that paintings when you're just just purely going off a of feeling right when you're painting something that energy translates into the paint um and it looks great and and sometimes that is just really about sp it is about speed mm -hmm. uh you know how quickly you put it down and when you're in the right mood and all that kind of stuff but that takes a really good artist to be able to do mm. that yeah it really um, i feel yeah no it really i mean the the social media really poisons your mind in in many ways and i mean just ev even like I mean, sketchbooks for me are just like private things which i scribble in or draw anything or write anything but it seems like so many people just just to show they're not lazy or that they are always working yeah. they have to put like a nice picture with like your coffee and then you have like the pen ideally showing the pen brand which you're using kind of like lying next to the sketchbook and all these kind of things you need to do um to get more <laughs> likes um they like, oh, which pen to use but it's really um i mean then you have to really i mean there, there, there's yeah. this thing though sorry <laughs> sorry I, I just thought of this there's this thing though there, there's a lot of artists who are really you know prolific and really mm. good you know i can i i just know offhand a lot of these guys who just kind of just draw and it looks perfect. And I think a lot of people want to be like mm, that. Mm, mm, of course. And so they, they, they're, they're doing the whole, you know, posting and doing that like that. But they're not at that point. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can just 
just be okay with taking your time to learn yeah, yeah. that. But I mean, the the what I wanted to what I wanted to to say and end with is like that. Um, I mean, it, it's 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 the ultimate test, though, right? I mean, are you doing that drawing? Are you doing that painting for for the express purpose to just post it and that's it? Um, and and does that does the because I think the the pure fact that you're automatically planning on releasing it influences you the, the decisions you make because then you're considering like oh how many people are gonna like this is this gonna like be popular and i mean you you automatically subconsciously kind of start to do stuff that people will like more just because there's more fans just because the color scheme is particularly nice or whatever and then you lose that connection of of the painting or the drawing and you, between yourself um, the part that you're really really enjoying and and um you always i think the, the ultimate test is like would you would you do this drawing would you spend an hour or again a day or whatever on this even if nobody ever saw it but yourself right even if you would if even See, if you could only show yeah. it to your dog i don't know that that is the perfect thing to say because i feel like um is exactly right because if you did it for if you'd never posted it and you just did that piece of art, would you have done that? Or would you have done something else? Like, oh, screw it. If I'm, mm. if I'm not going to show it, then I might as well just do this thing that I always wanted to do. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing you should be doing. Yeah, exactly. And just do that. And then when you feel comfortable, then you can post it. Um, if you want to, uh, but like, like people like Sparth and John and all these people, they, they had their own thoughts and ideas of what they wanted to do before, it was even popular and they did it because they wanted to do mm -hmm. it. They didn't care. I mean, I know Sparf didn't care whether it was fast or not fast. Mm -hmm. He just, that was the way he felt like he expressed best. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, and then that was all that was about that. So for, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's funny, it, it, it's gone this way. And, and I actually really like that this conversation has gone this, <laughs> to this point because it's actually really important that, you know, and, uh, and it's a big question. Do you, a perfect question from you is, if you, nobody saw this, would you still be doing it? And, and if not, what would you be doing? Mm -hmm. And that is what you should be mm -hmm. doing. Now, if you want to, um, obviously we're talking, that is just doing your own art, right? Mm. If you want to do something that's um, to get a job, of course, there, then there is a little bit more, uh, you know, th there are parameters, you know, there are guidelines as to, you know, like what kind of designer you want to be and what you need to improve on. But that's kind of a little different mm. in this context, mm. right? I mean, the context right now is just doing something you love to right, do right. and making sure that you're not doing it just to cater to all the people who are going to like your work. Yeah. I mean, that's the... Because yeah, that's something yeah. I had to think about a lot. No, no, it's the ultimate crux of, of being a commercial artist, right? We can not just do whatever the hell we want, right? All the time. There has to be... I mean, some pe there, there, there will be a compromise for some people more, for some people less, right? Because mm -hmm. some some people some people's personal style and pref personal preference can be very tightly aligned with what's popular and they will have a more easy they will have they will be able to adjust more easily between personal work and professional work where somebody who who personally draws the weirdest thing that just absolutely nobody likes they will have a harder time jumping back and forth between those two modes and um i mean but then that's just what it is. That's what it means to be a, pro yeah. pro a, a professional commercial artist. If you want to veer into into one of the one of the other, uh, like if if you want to be a more of a commercial artist and and sacrifice your own personal stuff, or if you want to do more personal stuff, then I think either one is fine. It's just that you need to be really clear about what that means, right? Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, but. I think in the in the in the near future we're also going to talk about more avenues for personal art and how you can monetize that. Um, um, but yeah, I think it's just something to be aware of, right? You can't you cannot you cannot go blindly into this and say like, 
oh why don't why 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 is nobody hiring me why is why does nobody like my personal work if 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 it's so far out from far, so far removed from anything that that is useful to any client out well, there sure but okay so here's the counterpoint right just mm. just because we're on yeah. this tangent yeah. that, but i i like it <laughs> um it, the, the, so 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 the counterpoint is yes you probably won't get as much mm -hmm. Uh, peep clients liking your work or, or hiring mm. you but the people who do will hire you for what you mm -hmm. do best don't forget that yeah oh that's true that's true like i mean that mm. th is also super valuable so i don't want anybody to you know because there's always this one either they kind of go in the realm of okay here's you know here's commercial art and you know here's what is expected of me and i'm gonna do this and then there's also the okay, well, but I'm an artist. I really want to express, mm -hmm. you know, and there is sort of, you know, it depends on you as a person, you know, where you lie, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because, you know, you kind of have to be a little bit of a conformist when you go into the entertainment commercial yeah. artist mm -hmm. route because you, you have to solve problems. Uh, but this one here, you will get hired less. Yeah, but that's the thing, yeah. when you get hired, they'll hire you to do you mm -hmm. i mean that so th that's ultimately what i mean by like you have <laughs> to adjust your expectations right i mean yes, if you if you absolutely. go into this and say like and you you draw the 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 nicest looking but completely weird things that are just not that useful then they're just not going to be as many projects that can make use of your skills right yeah once in a blue moon there will be something that is just perfectly tailored to your taste and you will have the time of your life but you, you cannot expect to be busy 24 7 on all sorts of projects and complain that oh like i draw cutesy little dragons why doesn't transformers michael bay hire me right that's that's what you have to be clear about and you if if your ultimate go goal is to like oh i want to make as much money as possible and then retire to uh to an island or whatever um then then maybe you need to yeah be more f conformist and and see like okay which which skills are the most highly rewarded in this industry um so that's just how you have to uh, um, adjust your your outside and i mean neither one is worse than the other it's 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 ultimately down to what it's you just want. very different yeah, it's just very yeah. different it's just what and, you want. and i'll just say this i mean in all the years i've worked and i i and we kind of do a lot of similar things i don't think anybody um has asked me to do faster yeah no i don't think nobody's ever asked me to go can you just can you paint more images no <laughs> no, no no um i think that you know once you hit something they don't care how fast you are they go you know what you take three mm. days go do it yeah yeah i don't care uh i just want that yeah. thing that you you can do i mean have you ever no no asked? i mean i th the only thing i hear is like oh i'd, I'd rather have one really good image than three sketchy ones that are kind of there but not really so that that's most often what 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 i hear right um and that that mm, should be okay. the the goal right that should be the goal like solve that problem with one good image rather than like three like eh, kind of okay images yeah 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 okay i mean for what we do it's all about solving that mm -hmm. problem i mean that is the big difference right you're talking the commercial artist and then the 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 the, uh, the the pure expressionist artist can just do whatever mm. you want. I mean, there is no right or wrong. Um, but but if you want to be have a reliable result as a commercial artist, then then there then you have to solve a problem. Have to. Mm -hmm. And it's not about speed. It's not about. It's just. It's about solving the problem. It could take five minutes or five months. Exactly. Exactly. Hopefully not five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> be the trickier. client wouldn't be very happy. Exactly. Okay, I think that was a really great discussion. We kind of veered <laughs> off here and there on tangents, but I think that I love that. that that's the love that's that. the nice thing. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this this little discussion, little talk we had here. If you did, please uh, let us know um, in the comments if you had maybe similar experiences of like uh, clients asking for a lot of paintings, or maybe you are the best speed painter in the world and you have a different opinion. I don't know. Let us know. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment and subscribe and we see you guys in the next one.